I got cameras everywhere in my crib, and this is this is the reason why y'all gonna realize the raid. Yeah, this is the raid, the cameras, and this is like I'm telling y'all now that y'all can hear the whole story. I know my backyard, something ain't right. She's telling me they were just chilling, having fun, waiting for me. Type, but I'm sleeping, and I'm sleep from like nine eight nine p.m. since I got in the crib, and they don't wake me up till four a.m. That's how many hours? Seven hours. I go on my, I, I go on my, I go on my, my, my camera. I go to my, my, my DVR. I, I'm looking what's going on. Gang, this is facts, and I'm not trying to make her look crazy, and I'm not trying to put her in no type of weird position. This is reality, brother. This is a girl who I've been dealing with for like two years on and off. We not steadily like we, we were like you know hang out, hang out, hang out. Not really hang out. When I look at my camera in the morning, gang, the shorty. Was getting like I, I don't even I don't even like the, the, she was getting trained by my two mans like on my pool deck the night before when I'm sleeping I happened nigga I couldn't believe it I'm like what question and this is facts facts my nigga I said do you know I, I said any everything you did last night right I said you wanted to do right. Cause you know, j just off like because she's acting like nothing happened, and I'm like everything you wanted to do, right? And she said to me, "Yeah, I had fun. Everything was cool. I I'm a little tight." And by the way, y'all, yeah, some of y'all gonna hear the story and be like, "Act you cause this on yourself?" Because maybe y'all can say ten because I could just said nothing, and I would have never been in these problems. I'm gonna stand here and let this man continue to lie about me. That's not what happened, academics. You know that that's not what happened. And for you to pretend that you didn't do anything, for you to pretend that you didn't do anything, that I just went to your house and I'm just some thought, like we didn't know each other for two years. You tried to save yourself after your friends assaulted me. Whether or not you got drunk or not, I know that when you woke up, you were on top of me too. You raped me too. And a test, a rape kit was done. You know what? I'm going to come back with my own story. Th this what you wanted and you're about to get it. I've been quiet for way too long. This is the Logs, all these other media outlets, Washington Post, I've seen you. <laughs> all y'all who said, yo, what's the comment? I have zero comment beyond what I've said before that you can use on record. I, I have to just go by my lawyers. Again, if I tell y'all I've been criminally clear, y'all going to be like, well, that, that doesn't mean anything. So I have nothing to say to y'all. You know what I mean? At this point, it's, it will be determined in court. And I'm very confident. And lawyers are there for a reason. Again, this is not a criminal situation. I know people are taking this to be some new situation. This situation allegedly happened over two years ago or about two years ago, something like that. This is not some new. This is I first brought to light by my own um, recognition. Like I, I brought it to light. But I'm going to tell you why I brought it to light over six months ago. And only now the lawsuit's being filed. And I spoke about it in January. I then got threats of a lawsuit because remember, the police wants nothing to do with this. They're saying there is no crime. The cops have said, peace. There ain't no crime that we could prove. That's what they've said. We're out of this. Okay, my lawyers have been ready for a possible lawsuit. We get it. We're in the time of the shakedown. Here's what's going to be interesting. And again, I'm going to be vague, but people in the chat, y'all be smart. Okay, I got to be vague for certain type of litigation reasons because I don't want when I meet with my lawyers, they play, they say, act, why the f did you do this? I don't want them to play this stream clip, okay? Do you know who's the lawyer? The lawyer Repres that I've covered, maybe with like about three, four Diddy cases, maybe with the TI case. Could it be a lawyer that not so long ago, I did a stream putting up on the screen saying that lawyer might be out here trying to shake people down for money. Could it be that lawyer that's representing in this case? I'm asking a question. Could it be that lawyer? And I have to speak this way because when you're living under threats of people who are trying to control media narratives as lawyers, I have to speak this way. Could it be that after I've covered Diddy's situation for three months and on like the fourth month, I said, hmm, Maybe this one guy who's saying this about Diddy is capping. Because look at his lawyer. Actually, let's look into the lawyer. Could it be that immediately the day after that, that lawyer allegedly 
reached out to some people of mine saying, if Ack continues to doubt what we are purporting against I'm it, I won't name no names. I'm asking a question. Could this be true? Could this be that I also, and by the way, y'all all know, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this about everybody in the industry. I'm going to tell y'all all this right now. If Ack ever goes down, y'all all go down with me because I hold no secrets for nobody. Could it be that the exact... Remember, we could file a lawsuit on him too. Be before that case. There was correspondence trying to get a settlement. Could it be a particular familiar trend? Let's shake him down for the money. Could it be that academics told his own lawyers, I'm not giving a mother... Could it be? Yo, yo, it's Big Ant, the spokesman, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in as it broke into the news and all up and down the timeline today that DJ Academics had been hit with the lawsuit for defamation of character and rape. And I had a link in the description where you can watch these clips in the beginning in full at, and I put those there to show a little bit of the timeline to how we got to where we are dating back to December. Now, this is first and foremost a civil suit. This is not a criminal case. This is not him being arrested. This is not him being charged. And I do have to say, innocent until proven guilty with anything you read into the lawsuit because I haven't saw any proof. I haven't saw any evidence. All I heard is the live stream that he did at that time, him speaking on it, as y'all saw the little clips right there and what she said right there in the beginning. But going back to December, this is academics going live after getting in tune with his girlfriend. She sent some exposing things to some people that he cool with, and he thought that she was going to come expose more. He got emotional. He was in his feelings, and he got to telling the internet everything that he thought that she might come expose, like, I'll beat you to the punch. One of those being that his house got raided, and it got raided because from what he says, two of his homies, had sex and ran a train on the girl that y'all saw in the video while he was upstairs sleep and drunk and passed out from a party he had went to earlier. He said he didn't know about it because he was asleep. Now that's his claim. She also said that the next day he told her, hey man, because he saw it on video. He said he got videos all over his home. He Everything that is going on in his house is being recorded at all times. He said, hey man, he saw the video because the house was a little messy, so he looked at it saying, oh man, she just smashed two of the homies. So he said he ended up confronting her about it. She was lying at first. He was just like, everything that went down was cool last night. She was like, nah, we had so much fun. Everything was straight. But then when he told her what happened, her tone and her temperature changed on the situation. He then said she later came back with the things and the police ended up getting the house raided over this. Now, back then, when he spoke on it in January, he said, hey man, I did not get charged for this. Nobody got arrested. The police said there's nothing there that, that they could charge us with after seeing the video and everything like that. Well, we get here to where we are at today. And I do got to say, this is going to be one of those things where I'm going to keep it all the way a thousand. Academics should not be speaking on this case with this lawsuit at all. Because what they do is they flip your words, they take your words, and he even said it himself. My lawyers, I don't want them to get mad at me. They'll tell me, well, why'd you say that? So I got a talking cold. No, nigga. Say you are innocent. You ain't did nothing wrong. You ain't got nothing. Hey, it's going to all come out. The facts will be revealed. I never did nothing. This don't represent my character. But this is a lawsuit, not a criminal case. We're going to get everything straight out. But he even got the talking. And they'll flip everything around that he said. He said they're going to try to catch me speaking publicly on the internet. Then he comes on there and says things that they can use. As in, hey, when the police arrested me, they couldn't find anything that they could charge me with. And I'm like, bro, that right there can be flipped on you. Where they'll say like, well, they didn't find nothing that they couldn't charge you with. That don't mean that you didn't do nothing. You have to know this is what this game is when it comes to these civil suits. That's one for academics. Then for two, I got to keep it all the way a thousand. He brought this all on himself. And he'll admit it. He, he has to admit it. Hey. If you're not dealing with that girl that don't respect you, that crossed the line with you a long time ago, and you didn't cut, if you would have cut her off, 
it was no reason for you to come to the internet and feel like you got to expose yourself. And even if you are dealing with a girl like that, you don't come to the internet and run and tell them everything. But when you are somebody living through the internet, I get this is your brand, this is your lifestyle. You got to know certain things ain't for everybody to know because they're going to come back and hurt you in the long run. This being one of them. Now you got to go through this process that's going to be a little bit of a headache. You know what I'm saying? On top of that, I do have to say this as well. I told y'all already that that uh, Blackburn lawyer out of New York, I spoke on that, on that case, on that storyline that came out. But even when Lil Rod filed this lawsuit, as you heard academics reference that, this is the same lawyer that's going at Diddy. I said, hey, bro, y'all got to know, as a grown man, and women were offended by it, some lame, weak, chump, punk, chump, super extra chump, coward niggas who don't know how to stand on man business and that are weak. When I said no man that's grown in an adult living real life can be groomed to do anything sexually by a grown man, so his credibility is killed because he's talking about being groomed sexually, I said if you think that that's a real thing for a grown man, you weak. Because can't no grown man groom you to do nothing sexually. You have to do it by choice, not by force, nigga. Now, what can happen is somebody can beat you, and a God forbid, God forbid, I wouldn't want this for the worst, nigga to get forced into doing something or, or knocked out or gun put to you or something. But if they did something with you one time and you continue to go back and work with them and provide services and take money from them, that means you're a volunteer. You're not a victim. And I said that about Lil Rod and I looked at the Blackburn, the lawyer and stuff, and I said, well, hold on, this dude has a reputation. I've been said that before this, but academics said they reached out to him in so many words, which he should not even be telling us. That should be a big shocker in the courtroom to get the case thrown out. He said that they reached out to him about this, him speaking on it online and everything. Nobody really cared in the moment because it's Diddy, which Lucy and Grange just got itself taken off the case as well in the lawsuit because he was also a part of this lawsuit. But I stand firm on man, business, facts, and reality, bro. I'm not changing my common sense and my logic to fit nobody's feelings in the way that I move and think. We ain't never condoning no woman being taken, to taken advantage of, being raped, drugged, beat, abused. We for sure ain't playing that with no kids at all. So if some facts was to come out on this, then we'll come back and confirm that. But as of right now, we ain't saw nothing. This is a civil suit. This is not a academics being arrested. This is none of that. But at the same time, we got to move smarter. So we're going to raise the awareness. This is the message for me as well as a man and any other man out here. You got to move accordingly and you got to respect yourself. Keep yourself out of these situations because it can happen to the best of them if you ain't moving smart. People that don't respect you, get them from away or from around you, bro. So you ain't got to deal with this type of stuff. If you're not dealing with that ex-girlfriend of yours, she don't make you even think that you got to come out here and reveal some stuff, which either way, it don't make no sense. But you won't even get in that position where she's sending exposing stuff to people from you. So that's all on you at the end of the day. Then you shaming the girl. Once she let your two homies hit, if that's how they went down for real, bro, why go confront her about it? Leave it at where it said, hey, you smashed the homies. You ain't who I thought you was. I was rocking with you. We was kicking in this stuff, but hey, you let them two niggas hit. I ain't finna come on here and shame you, and not, not as a nigga in my 30s. Like, that's some stuff the nigga might do maybe when he like 19, 20. You know, man, my heart broken, 21, 22 maybe. But at this age, no, sir. You supposed to just say, hey, I'm done with that situation right there. Give her the cold shoulder. You ain't got to expose it. Hey, y'all niggas could have told me that y'all did that with her at the crib. But oh well, nigga. Y'all niggas for some reason felt like y'all couldn't tell me. And I guess really they was right because they up in a, a lawsuit and investigation now. But here we go. Tell me what y'all think. We got more coming, more videos, all that. 1,000 for shit show. Stay on your pivot.